Okay, so you've got the card of endings uh, as the first card. And there's a lot of secrets that are going on around you. Um, and um, things, um, people gossiping behind your back, maybe people saying things, pretending to be uh, your friend and really are not your friend. Maybe you've decided to end uh, that relationship with them. You're feeling very vulnerable right now. So, you know, you're feeling as though you can be attacked very easily. And uh, and maybe this is what you want. You want to end the situation that is going on around you. There are a lot of hidden enemies as well. So you've got a lot of secrets and a lot of hidden enemies and not a very nice environment to be in. You had a lot of hope for the future that things would all work out. But it seems like, you know, there are people around you in your surroundings that are really very much... Um, working against you. Now you've just got to have a little bit of patience uh, to get through the situation. Maybe you feel that time is running out, uh, but you just have to have some patience to get through the situation. And it looks like there's a lot of a big change coming over here. This is like the card of the tower. There's a lot of destruction here. So maybe something big coming in, maybe to destroy all these enemies, some sort of energy coming to get rid of all this negative energy that has been around you. So uh, it's going to uh, wipe the slate clean, whatever energy is coming in. So the main energy is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Swords is somebody that comes in, creates a whole bunch of havoc, and then runs away. Really, that's um, the um, the Knight of Swords. So bringing somebody bringing in a lot of negative energy, causing a lot of destruction. You can see there's a lot of fire, so a lot of chaos coming out of this situation. Maybe it's a bit of information too. It could be somebody bringing information that's going to cause a lot of problems around you, a lot of fighting, arguing, uh, and it's a very quick uh, moving energy so something that comes in quite suddenly and it's a, quite an aggressive energy as well and bringing a lot of problems a lot of destruction a lot of chaos uh, in its wake and usually the knight of swords leaves uh, and you know leaves back behind uh, the battlefield with a lot of destruction in it so uh, a big energy force coming in there a lot of ne uh, negative energy really you should be uh, aware of that so whatever this Knight of Swords brings and destroys everything, you can see there's still a lot of fire over here. They bring a new beginning in though. They change everything and it allows you to move away from that destruction. You will be moving away from that destruction uh, with the full card. So starting brand new again. So whatever comes in, whatever information is going to cause a lot of um, a shift in energy in stagnation energy and it's going to move you into a new path and then you've got the star card over here so it's going to move you into a better path and move you back into the pathway that you should have been on in the first place maybe you got a bit of way led along the way the sun the star card is about inspiration getting divine guidance and finding your direction in your life uh, and a lot of hope as well with the star card it's quite an optimistic card so all of these two energies this energy of the um a Knight of Swords, and I would think the full energy as well, because the full energy is the ending of a cycle and a brand new beginning of something else, and that's always uh, uncomfortable to go through that kind of big change, uh, but the star card comes in to help you and guide you through that situation. So maybe the reason why uh, that Knight of Swords with that negative energy is sort of coming in is because of the Devil card and the way you've been feeling. So you've been feeling very restricted, very tied up, very stuck in a particular position. And um, it seems like, uh, you know, maybe there have been some people that have been bullying you and um, uh, causing a lot of problems for you, uh, making you feel really, um, you know, attacking your self-confidence so these energies come in to come take away that and and try to equalize uh the energies around you uh bring it into a more productive cycle so uh this all this energy that is coming in is to actually remove this devil card which is a very negative energy card or how you've been feeling take away those negative feelings away and bring in a bit more um you know, peace and harmony in your life. You've got the Six of Pentacles over here. There are people that are there to help you. You might be going through some financial hard times at the moment as well. You can see this person is sitting outside uh, this on the doorstep, really, and somebody coming and giving him something. So if you're going through financial problems, there is going to be somebody who comes and gives you that financial assistance or, or that aid or that advice on how to get yourself unstuck from this particular position. So what's on your mind? You've got the Eight of Wands. You want um, things to start moving. Uh, you want people to help you. And, you know, you're expecting some messages from uh, maybe a lot of people. So you're expecting some news to come in. Um, and you want some people to come and help you and take you out of the situation. 
So um, going to the future, you've got the Eight of Pentacles. You will be working very, very hard. So you have a lot of options that are available for you. So with this full card comes in a lot of options. You can see that on this clock, there are lots of cups. Um, and I'm oh, sorry, lots of pentacles rather on this cup, on this cloth. And it looks like um, you will have a lot of options available for you and you'll be able to work uh, again. Or you'll be very, very involved in maybe specializing in your work. Um, focused on your work so that this is going to bring you into a, a, a brand new work cycle this whole change that comes and it's going to allow you to to shine to specialize to become better at what you're doing there might also be some training that involves that is involved within this uh, particular field as well so you've got what's going on for you you've got the uh, three of pentacles so you are um trying uh you know, very, very hard at your work. So the, uh, trying to accumulate money, you've got, you've started something brand new. You've got a very young angel here. So you've started something brand new and you're trying to accumulate wealth over there. Um, and you're working pretty hard because this is very heavy, this basket, and this uh, angel is carrying it. So you are trying to arise above the situation and you're working pretty hard to do it as well. You may have started this new job and you're just learning on it as well, uh, training on this job as well. So going into the future, you've got the Seven of Pentacles. There is somebody that's around you that gives you advice, that will give you some financial advice on how to accumulate wealth. You've got a person that's very friendly, somebody you can talk to, and somebody will give you an idea that stokes the fires in your mind and allows you to make plans on how to actually accumulate wealth. So you've got some advice, financial advice coming in for you. So what's on your mind? You know, you are looking at... Um, trying to uh, make uh, friends, you're trying to make inroads and trying to make contacts, you're trying to network um, and get, um, you know, people involved in whatever creative product project that you're involved in. So you're trying to, to uh, socialize to get people to, um, you know, help you out. Now going into the future, you've got the Ten of Wands, You've got the Six of Wands and the Temperance. So whatever problems you have been facing, whatever responsibilities and difficulties and uh, hard work uh, is now uh, the cycle comes to an end and, you know, you're able to plant your rods and achieve stability as well. So whatever, um, you know, um, responsibilities you have, whatever hard work you have, that cycle is now coming to an end and you will now be able to reap the rewards of all this hard work that you've done. You can see all these rods have got um, buds on them. So it's showing that whatever you have planted, whatever you have worked for, will now start producing um, abundance, will start um, giving you a payback. Now you've got the six of wands, you're still very, very focused on this work and you're trying to move forward in it. You might feel as though there's obstacles to you making progress uh, and you are carrying a lot of responsibilities. You know, you may need to just delegate and uh, ask people for some help with the six of wands card. And you've got the temperance card, which is showing balance, stability. Um, you know, you might feel that you have lost something. Uh, you've got this cup um, on the on the ground over here. Uh, maybe you lost a home, um, but it's now a time to get healed. It's a time for you to establish stability. It's also a time for you to uh, look at all the lessons that you learned from all the problems that you went through and try to apply and pl apply it to your house apply to your life so that you can get stability um, and you might be thinking of buying a new home as well um, you know uh, maybe moving buying a new place that is much um, he more healing for you you know where you have a better vibe if you like um, so you might be thinking of that as well but with the temperance card it's also if people give you advice you know it's generally going to be good advice and you should really be taking it so you've got the queen of earth which is the queen of pentacles it's really a card of achievement Make time for those around you. Make sensible, um, take a sensible approach. Deal with challenges in a kind and understanding manner. So you need to be very practical in how you handle things. But also the Queen of Pentacles is a uh, position of leadership. And uh, it is a position uh, where you're financially stable. You'll be able to accumulate wealth. It is the money card, uh, a money card in the tarot deck. So money coming to you and a good position coming to you as far as work goes. And you can see that, um, you know, you are getting uh, with the Eight of Pentacles. It looks like, uh, you know, the job that you're getting is going to be something uh, that is quite stable. And it's, you know, probably long term because this is a long card of long term, uh, a long term job. And you've got the Eight of Fire, which says events 
moving at a fast pace, delays are over and many things are happening at once. So a lot of news coming in for you and maybe more projects than you anticipated coming your way and you're going to be very, very busy. So with this new position uh, of the Queen of Earth, where you're in a, in a kind of a management position and money coming in, you're also going to have a lot of work coming in. So you're going to be pretty busy uh, and a lot of news and a lot of information coming, coming your way. And then you've got the release card, which says the end of a phase of situation, spiritual transformation, a time to move on. So it looks like whatever the old problems that you were dealing with, even with this 10 of wands, with the release card, it seems like that is all over and you will be moving on to something better, something different, uh, you know, where you can uh, get your balance back, where you can find yourself again. Um, so uh, I hope that these readings have resonated with you. It looks like things are looking up. You are going to get something long-term stable and it looks like there's a lot of focus on work over here, um, but it looks like it's going to bring in, bring in the money. So, uh, it looks like a very, very positive reading. And just know that you are going to be pretty busy uh, soon. So, uh, you know, make sure that you're well rested um, before you start uh, jumping into things. 